Aha! Uh -huh. Welcome back to my humble channel. Feel free to take a look around. <laughs> right, so today we are going to be doing my first ever tier list. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rank all my cosplays from best to worst. And some of the results might surprise you, so keep on watching. You're gonna like this one. So you may not have seen some of these cosplays because some of these videos were from the main channel when I used to do cosplay over there, which are no longer available over there. So if you wanted to see the video that something was from, I'm gonna put all the details and all the links in the description. Today's isn't gonna be in the list, unfortunately, but I think this would be an S. This is top of the fucking list. Future Curse jumping in. I absolutely disagree. You look terrible. If you don't wear glasses, your face looks like, looks like a melon. Hello, I'm Laura Croft. Do you need my help? Because I'll shoot you, but I broke my other gun. I, I'm gunless now. Look, I broke it. How tragic. <laughs> I shall put that down and not do that again. Okay, actually now looking at myself, because I've been wearing this all day and my eyebrows have started to melt. Don't look at them. So I'd actually take this to a B. This is not an S, this is a B. The further I get back, the more it becomes an S. So like C, B, A, and S. So here we go, let's go. I've made the tier list and let's do it. Let's rate them. S tier, which is the best of the best. It's the goat, it's the one. A, which is, you know, very good. Almost perfect, but didn't quite make it. B, mm, you did try, but there's something not right there. C. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's all I need to say for that. D, why bother? D for dipshit, didn't need to happen. Douchebag, material. And then the lowest of the lowest rating, which is let's forget its existence. Some of these cosplays I've not looked at for a long time. These cosplays start from 2020 all the way up to now, current time, which is 2023. And like I said, this, this is not in the list because it's just happened. Let me know in the comments now, what would you give this face from S? S being the goat to let's forget its existence. Let me know. I'll wait. Y'all better say forget its existence. <laughs> <laughs> so we might as well start from the very beginning, which was my very first cosplay, which was from September 2020, um, which was when I decided to play for the first time playthrough of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, dressed up as Angelina Jolliecroft. I mean, look at her. <laughs> So this was before I knew how to do makeup, hence I'm not wearing makeup. You can see my five o'clock shadow. I didn't have money to get a wig, so there's no wig. That's my real hair. I had the guns. I had the attitude. <laughs> let's, let's get to the point. What would I rate that out of? S to let's forget its existence. <clears throat> it's not good. So it's definitely not going to be S. Definitely not going to be A. I don't even think it can be B. Let's, you know what, let's not forget its existence because it was the first thing I did. So we have, I have to be somewhat proud of it. You know, I, I took my first step into cosplay world. So let's put it at D for damn good try, <laughs> but failed. There we go. There's a the first one done. Yay. So the second one is when I did Alice in her iconic red dress in the Resident Evil movie in 2002. So I actually, I actually did this cosplay in 2022 when it was the 20 year anniversary. And I released the images on Twitter, but I also reacted to the movie, which I've not released yet. It has been edited, but I've still not released it. If you're interested in seeing it, let me know because I will release it. The look, the wig. I styled the wig myself and to be honest, I think the wig looks great. Doesn't look exact, but look at that image. I think it looks great. The red dress is almost actually accurate. So what I did, that dress was a full dress. There was no split. I think it was like 12 pounds. So what I did, I split it. And then for the burgundy kind of skirt that's underneath the dress, I had a burgundy t-shirt and I was like, this is perfect. So I cut the t-shirt in half, wore that as a skirt and then had the split in the dress and I think it looked perfect. But yeah, I loved that. I'm going to give that, it's not S tier. It's not, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't the best. The makeup wasn't good. My eyebrows were atrocious, but I can't say anything. Of it. So I'm going to give that an A. Yeah, it's iconic. Not perfect, but it's almost there. Okay, so next up is, I don't think many people will know this game. And I thought <laughs> it was going to be more popular when it first released. A lot of people were like, what even are you dressed as? When did this come out? I think this came out in 2021. It's called Elysia. 
It is an independent video game, survival horror, in the vein of like the OG Resident Evil game. So it's like got your static cam, camera that follows you. You're in like this mansion and everything goes all spooky and mysterious. But it's very, it's like Resident Evil meets Alice in Wonderland. It was very good, I didn't finish it, but I love the cosplay. Obviously it's just a head on PNG, like on a, on a PNG body, but those cosplays with PNG, PNG body are iconic. So in the past, for me to be able to do cosplays without, on no money, I thought, what a great idea. The face and the head, you know, you get, you do that, you, that's the cosplay, and then you put that head on a image of the character. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and it's actually hilarious to watch, I think. So that's why PNG body is iconic. <laughs> and if you're an old fan of like, not just this channel, but the main channel, you will have, you'll have seen that and you'll fucking appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so this was a PNG body, but I, I, I'm sorry, but my face looks really good. The wig was good, and that wig was like less than ten pounds. And then I found this. Um, I think it was like the the bow was like something from like a kid's toy or something. I saw it, and I was like, that's perfect. So I got the kid's bow. It was on something else, so I ripped that off, bought a headband, and put that on. Perfect. I looked like Twiggy or something from the '60s, a supermodel. Okay, maybe I didn't look a supermodel, but I was going for that vibe. So I'm gonna put that as, it wasn't amazing. Definitely wasn't S tier. I'm gonna put that as a B for like, um, yeah, B, I think. It wasn't bad at all, but it wasn't amazing. So next is the iconic and kind of terrible, but also never done before, is the iconic Angel of Darkness 2003 low poly Lara, double denim. So this cosplay was actually quite painful because not only was I wearing stacked eyelashes that were made out of felt, they were super glued. The felt was super glued onto some existing eyelashes. What I do is I put eyelashes on, magnetized, like you get like um, eyeliner that's got metal in it. A lots of people use this, if you don't know, about makeup, this might be really strange. Like you put metal on your eye. Yes, you do. <laughs> and the eyelashes have magnets on and you just place them on. It's really easy to do and they, can, they stay on all day. So easy to, less mess. But because these were heavy eyelashes that were stacked with felt, I had to put loads on and then put them on. And so it, it was the serve, but during the day of shooting, the um, super glue started to melt and the eyeliner started to melt and come together and it started seeping into my eyes. And if you look carefully, but later on in the video, my eyes are bloodshot red because I was literally in pain. <laughs> so because of that, and because I think it looks brilliant and the wig is on point, this goes straight to S tier, okay? For sacrifice, for stylishness, and what else? Two made it three. three. It's iconic. So it's going to the fucking S tier, thank you very much. Okay, so next is something that a lot of people will not see because it didn't even become a full video. It was just a stream, a one-off stream, which was when I did Ashley Graham. Now this was hilarious because I mean, look at the look at these images. Like you've got one PNG, which was, look at this, those sausage fingers. I don't know where I got this image from, but it's not an official image of Ashley. It's like someone's remake of the 3D model. Well, that's not the best part. Later on during the stream, this PNG came into place. Sat in the barrel, how iconic does that look? <laughs> that is absolutely perfect. Uh, there was a few few other ones like this, this naughty scene that we did. Iconic. The bobblehead, it looked like a bobblehead, but it, it looks amazing. Um, I need to bring Ashley back because that's pretty fucking... I even did the impression of her, listen. Don't, don't come! That's not bad, <laughs> is it? So, it's, it was good, but it's not... It's not S tier, I don't think. It's definitely not the bottom. Let's, it's it's good, but it's not terrible. So I'm gonna put it at um, we'll put it at A. The wig could be less. Actually, no, the wig's a bit too shiny. Maybe I need another wig. The makeup looks great. Let's put it to B. So next we have Chris Redfield, and this one was <laughs> really hit and miss. So in this particular image, I do kind of like Chris. Um, the wig looks all right. I had to shred that. Like I had to cut so much of it off because what did it look like at first? I looked like I put the wig on like 20 minutes before I had to go to stream and I was like, oh my God, I look like, like Elvis. It was given Elvis. It was like quiffy and stuff. So I was like, oh, shit. So I just snipped it to hell and it kind of looked right. I need to try the Chris Redfield cosplay again because that wasn't too bad. I think I need a bit more contour. So we'll put that at, 
I feel like this about it. So I'm going to put it at C. Chris, you got to C for C. Exactly. C for Chris. You get to go for C. So, you know, not good. You need to fucking improve on that one. Okay, so this is the solo wetsuit. This is not the first time I wore the solo wetsuit. This is actually when I started this channel, actually, in October 2022. This was my comeback as Cursed Croft. So the sunglasses are iconic and obviously are on point. The wig was not perfect. It was getting there. It was a bit too pu puffy, but, and the, the solo wetsuit looks amazing, but the makeup, let's talk about it. The lips are fine. There's no contour. The problem is, yeah, there's no contour. There's no definition. My nose is huge. I, I'm doing okay. I've made it like nice and pointy-ish. No, it still looks huge. It's supposed to make your nose look bigger. It's supposed to make it look smaller. But the problem is those fucking, the fucking eyes. There's no eyeshadow. The eyelashes are drooping down. And what the hell is that little flick at the <laughs> in the corner? Like here, like I've got like a proper like this. That's just like, blah, blah, blah. So for your failings, Solo wetsuit from 2020 is going to D. Sorry, but no. No, sorry, honey. You're going to D for deep dive to the Maria Doria. To make sure she never come back. Okay, next we have... <laughs> next we have no neck Jill. Now this is the f I'm sorry, but it's going straight to C. It's going straight to C and I'll ex S. I mean, it's going straight to S and I will explain in a minute. Okay, so this this was the first PNG body cosplay that I did. This was from April 2021, and this was to celebrate the 25 years of the first Resident Evil game. This was a stream, and I had 15 minutes to get ready because I was so late and I was so disorganized. That's a 15 minute look. There's no makeup, there's no eyelashes, there's, mi there's a bit of mi lipstick, but there's no contouring, a wig that makes me look like Willy Wonka, and a hat with the wrong freaking badge. I tried to order a RPD badge to go in it because it would have been perfect, but I didn't give enough time for delivery. So the only one that was available to arrive on time was the umbrella logo. But this was the birth of cursed cosplays. This is the epitome of a cursed cosplay. So to me, this is the peak of cosplay. <laughs> it's just so weird. And why, what the fuck was I thinking? I didn't even, I, what I usually do is I wear a green screen suit for the PNG bodies and you, you wear it there for some reason when I was doing this I put it all the way up to my neck so there's no neck but some of the comments that I was getting and when we rewatched it were some of the funniest like I'll just show you some now no neck Jill is the best no neck Jill my favorite biological woman M. Um, that's probably one of the f my favorite comments I've had in a stream my favorite biological woman so to get S tier on my tier system, you don't have to be the best. You just have to be the most iconic at something. And that was iconic and all the wrong reasons. Like I literally decided instead of canceling the stream, I was like, I'm going forward with this and this is going to happen. And history was made. <clears throat> Sometimes when I'm in a bad mood or really depressed, I go back and watch this video because it always lights me up. Watch this. Get that music playing. Get your fingers moving, Jill. And let's serenade. Let's serenade. Serenade us out. Right, let's play the music. Go on, Jill, do it for us. <laughs> Sorry. Just looking at myself, this is so weird. I've got no neck. Do you see what I mean? She is the goat. No Neck Jill is the goat. I'm gonna have to bring No ne Neck Jill back. And that means I need to follow suit with what I did. So that means a terrible wig, no makeup and no neck. I'll do it, I will do it. Okay, moving on. So she's there, she's at S where she belongs, the goat. <clears throat> so next we have, a lot, of, a lot of you won't have seen this because this is actually not, you know, I don't think this is available on the cosplay channel. This is actually available on one of my other channels. This one is the Kim Woodburn um, cosplay. Big brother has called Kim to the diary room. I mean, look at me. I'm demure and classy and they're ganging up on me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Gang handed Nicole. 
Scum, scum, scum. If we don't mix with it, we wash it down the sink. Now this, to me, is, look at that. I, th I think I look really much like her, to be honest. I think I do look like her. So this was when I played Power Wash Simulator for the, for the first time dressed as Kim Woodburn, because I thought this is perfect. Kim Woodburn, cleaning a house, dresses so perfect. This was on the main channel and I realized, I think it was in 2022, I realized cosplay is not working on this channel. People are not watching it, they don't like it. They're here for Resident Evil and Resident Evil mods. So that's why I made the decision to make a new channel because it just wasn't working. So if you wanna watch this video, the Kim Woodburn Power Wash Simulator, the link is in the Dirty Rep channel. So what do I do? Where do I put this? I mean, look, even the wig on top, I even put the, there's three wigs there. There's like one wig to hold to my head, which is blonde. Then I've got a bun on the top and then a braided blonde hair to go around the middle to fit it all together. Yeah, she's not, she's not the goal. She's iconic though. She's going to A. Oh, 100%. A, 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 A. <gasps> okay, so we're halfway through and not a single one has been banished to the level of let's forget its existence. So that's quite good, isn't it? I wonder if anything's gonna get that to that point. Okay, so next we have the OG. Well, this is the new, newish OG, but it's the OG. It's the um, the Cursed Croft main image, which is very similar to this, but I've got a better contour than her, but her eyebrows are better and she's got nice blue and pink eyeshadow. This is very basic. This is the nude look today, doll. But yeah, she's the OG. I don't know where to put her because I don't, is she the girl? Can I can I do that? Can I put her straight to S just because she, you know? I just want to preface this also by saying I don't think my cosplays are good. I'm not when I say when I'm putting things to S and above. I'm not saying like they're better than other people's cosplays because my cosplays are like in general are worse than everybody else's. I know that. Don't don't start. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm the bottom, I'm the bottom of the barrel. I'm dollar store cosplay. This is what, that's what I do. And I do it very well, thank you. Let's put it to A. I don't want to be so facetious and put her straight to S because she's just not quite there yet. Okay, so next is Lady Dimitrescu. Uh, this was an issue. I don't look anything like Lady D. The hat is perfect-ish. It's big enough, but my skin isn't white, as in like pale. It's like peachy, which is wrong. The lipstick is okay. The contour's bad. Look how big my nose is. There's no, I don't even think I've got lashes on. I think I just, just did that with the pencil in the, the corner again. And there's no wig. That's my natural curly hair. Lady D doesn't have naturally curly hair, does she? So I could have done a lot better than that. But that video is one of my favorites. It's quite long. I think it's like 25 minutes. In the video, I play Resident Evil knockoffs dressed as her. It, yeah, it's one of my favorite videos. But the cosplay is not good in my opinion. Lady D might have to go to D, you know? I mean, we've got some iconic moments like this. The first one we have is called Ebony. It sounds quite naughty, doesn't it? Ebony. I've seen that word before. A naughty magazine that I confiscated from one of my servants. She paid for that film. I sliced her tits <sighs> off and cut out her eyes and fed them to the crows. It was wonderful. <laughs> but still, the look is not good. So, no, she's going to D. Sorry, D. Lady D goes straight to D, darling. Oh no. <laughs> oh well, I can. I need to try better next time. 100%. Like, I need to do proper makeup, like white with like the cracked. It seems like Lady D's just got all the makeup piled on top of each other, and because she's not human, her face is cracking and it's like a bit purpley and green underneath. I need to put those kind of details in next time and get a fucking wig. So this one is from this year, and it is Leon. Leon S. Kennedy. This is the first time I did Leon. I'm going for like Leon from 2005, you know, like the old, the old Leon in RE4. This is when I started doing male cosplay because usually I just used to do Lara and females, but I, I liked this. The wig isn't perfect. People in the comments and the, on the stream were saying you look like a Karen. Oh God, why do you have the Karen hair going? Excuse me, this is not giving Karen. I mean, no lies were spoken, but still how rude. <laughs> I'm going to put it at B. Yeah, it's B. I, I think it, it works. You kind of look like her, so yeah, B. B, yeah. Okay, so next. Oh, okay, this one's good. This was early on. This was actually from February 2021. This was from my second Tomb Raider series that ended up only being one episode because I couldn't bother doing the rest and I just 
gave up on it. <laughs> R.I.P. The Rise series. Oh well. This is the wetsuit from the Cradle of Life movie. The silver wetsuit from the Cradle of Life is one of the most iconic outfits in Tomb Raider history, in my opinion. Trumps over everything, even from the video game. That was just too iconic. So I had to recreate it. Obviously on a budget. This, the silver wetsuit was actually just one of those green bodysuits. It was just one of those, but silver. But it worked. Look, in this image in particular, I've got no lipstick on. I've got no contour. You can see my beard coming through because they didn't even do color correction, which I have now. My eyebrows and my set, my normal eyebrows. My nose hasn't got any contour, look how big it is. There's no, make, there's no eye makeup, there's no eyelashes. <laughs> and I didn't put any like anti-shine powder on. I look like I'm freaking melting. But that video was, I love that video. That's li linked below. If, you, if you're interested in watching me play Rise of the Tomb Raider, ripping it to shit and looking terrible, then watch that video. It's an iconic look, but the makeup's terrible, so I have to put it to... I'm gonna put it to C, sorry. Sorry. So sorry. I would like to recreate it with a proper wetsuit, though. That one needs to be recreated. That's the thing, that's the thing. If it goes to C, it means it needs to be recreated. Okay, next. This is the first time I did the wetsuit. And isn't it interesting that this was the first time I did it in 2021, and it looks better than the one from 2020. Even though the wig doesn't look that good, actually. No contour, yeah, still. Didn't know, I've still not discovered how to do that. Let's put her to B. You can go straight to B, because I'm like, literally the wetsuit, look how it did look similar to the one from the game, so I did really well finding that wetsuit. That wetsuit came from the US. I think it came from California. It took two weeks to get, I think, but maybe it was, I got it on express delivery, so I, I think it actually, I got it in seven days. The solar print was this plastic thing you could get from Etsy, I think, that someone sold, so it was perfect. That solar wetsuit has been through the wars now. Do you want me to show you, actually? I will show you how trash, trashed it is. So this is the solar wetsuit. It's actually like five times smaller than my actual body. Wearing it for more than two hours is actually painful. It's originally, it's an O'Neill, but look, at, look how similar it is with like the gray and the black and the blue, it was, it was like literally almost identical. So this is peeling, the super glue, the super glue is now showing as white rather than black. It's starting to tear under the arms. Can you see that? Look at that. And then also, yeah, look, there's some there as well. There's actually a hole in the crotch area. I wonder why I did that. Can you guess? Wearing this for five hours and not wanting to take it off after I put it on. What do you think that hole was for? And I'm not gonna tell you because that's not ladylike. But I guess you, but I bet you can use your imagination and stuff. So yeah, that's, I can't, I'm gonna keep everything that I create, I keep. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna have to move it to S tier because it's iconic. Just the suit alone, never mind the fucking face. What am I thinking? It's iconic, it's, an, it's the goal. Of course it is. Okay, bye. <laughs> right, next. <laughs> so this is actually the first time I, I wore this and got this. Which means I need to get a new one because this is now like two years old. Oh my god, this might be three years old. No, this was from early 2021. I mean, the glasses are good. I mean, I've literally labelled this one Tomb Raider 2 Egghead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually going through trauma right now. Okay, the glasses are amazing, but what is going on with my face? I'm giving full boy. No bag, terrible wig. That's the Angelina Jolie wig. So it doesn't, it doesn't work. I'm giving boy. There's no makeup, there's no lip gloss. There's a tiny bit of contour. Oh wow, that's really gonna help at the bottom of your chin, but not the rest of your face. No eyelashes, no eyeshadow, no lips. That's giving trauma. That's giving disaster. Look at the difference. Look how far I've come, and I've come a lot, okay? So this one has to go to let's forget its existence. It has to. Something had to go into that tier and it had to be that one. Let's forget its existence because Egghead Lara cannot come back. She has to go deep into a tomb and never come back and never be found. Lara once said, everything lost is meant to be found. Egghead Lara is not meant to be found, Lara, okay? She has to go and never come back. Two left, that's all we've got. We've got two left. This has been wonderful, hasn't it? I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Next we have, oh, this is just, <clears throat> this is this is peak Cursed Croft. This moment in itself encapsulates what Cursed Croft is about. So this was from April or uh, May 2021. You know, the 25 year celebration. So each month was a different game. This was 
This was for Tomb Raider 3, so this must have been... Maybe this was March. I don't know. But I'm going for the South Pacific Islands look. One of my wonderful viewers, Todd, told me to do this on stream and literally, Todd, you... I've said this but before, but you made a moment happen. <laughs> this was so funny. And I, did, I would never have thought to do this, but I'll just play the clip. If you've not seen this, you may have seen this, but let's just watch it again. Let's get her against the wall so I can see her properly. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was good. Hilarious. Once again, thank you, Todd, for making that moment happen. And that, that yeah, that just encapsulates what Curse Craft is about. Terrible cosplay. I'm here to make you laugh. It's Mike. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw it on camera, but my eyelash jumped. <laughs> That's what I mean because these have got magnets in. They have a mind of their own. Yeah, this encapsulates what Curse Craft is about. So this has to go straight to S. This is goat tier. <laughs> Apps are fucking lootly. South Pacific Islands has to go straight to SJ, even though I need to recreate that at some point because it was just, all it was was a friggin' tank top. Just rolled up to under my bra, that was it. It was very cheap. And the makeup was terrible and the wig was terrible, but it was iconic, so whatever. Let's excusable. And here we go. The final. We saved the best till last. Can I say that? Well, it's one of my favorites, I think. I do think um, No Neck Jill is my favorite. Young Lara from May 2021. <laughs> I wasn't sure about doing this because it's playing a 16 year old, but I had to do it and I'm glad I did it because this stream and the video that corresponded is brilliant. So to seem like a 16 year old, a British 16 year old girl, I had to put foundation on the lips because if you're British and you were around in like the, the noughties, that's how girls used to look. They used to put foundation on the lips. I don't know why, instead of lipstick, but that's what they used to do. So the wig, some people were confused. They were like, why is the, why does the hair look like that? And why is it not in braids? Because I was going for the FMV, full motion video version of Lara. You know where she has that poofy hair? Cause it's not in braids, but, but it was iconic. Even though those images are a bit, they're very sus cause she's 16. And, it was a bit suggestive. That's what I was going for. As you can tell by that look. I mean, look, side and side by side, you can see what I'm going for. So while she's iconic, she's not the goat, unfortunately, but she's not any, she's not anywhere below A. So she's going straight to A. Young Lara is A. She gets A's on her freaking GCSEs. Thank you very much. So there we go. That is the full tier complete of all of my cosplays in the past three years. I think I've missed a couple, but that'll do. They're 17 of the most important and iconic, okay? And by iconic, I mean disturbingly bad. <laughs> so if you liked that and if you have any suggestions for anything else I can do, like another tier, um, an another tier video, let me know in the comments, okay? But I'll see you later. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you.